back home. I actually ran to the supermarket to get some milk. Hello, Mr. Louis has made this his pot now. That's what I usually say. I ran to the supermarket to get some milk because I ran out of my almond milk for coffee and it's so annoying that you can only get it in Biasala, in Acropolis and Klaipeda. When you run out, it's not fun. So I need to stock up next time. So I just bought plain milk. I bought these Kit Kats because they started selling uh, matcha tea Kit Kats here in Ikea shops. I love them so much. So I got two and then I got one million kiwis. Honestly, kiwis have to be my favorite fruit or one of my favorite fruits. Like I always have them around. I eat so many of them like I pretty much need to have kiwis every day maybe that's just a craving I'm having or something actually I pissed off the uh, cashier guy because he asked me do you need a plastic bag for those uh, I said no thank you he said it will be very hard for me to weight them because I mean I have a ton of loose kiwis and I said like no no thanks and I helped him weight them and then he put them all in my bag and he gave me this kind of cringy sort of pissed off smile thinking I'm an idiot and I'm so sorry to him that I came off as rude but honestly I'm trying to fight single-use plastic as much as possible and it's so difficult because everything in supermarkets is, pla in, is wrapped in plastic and it's so annoying to me, so I always take my canvas totes. As I said, I felt sorry for my behavior because it's my responsibility to bring like a net bag. So I'm gonna get one of those, like, you know, a net bag that you can carry with you for loose things, um, for like fruit and veg and anything that you need to weigh. Little things, I'm not saying I'm like, super eco-conscious or anything and I guess lesson learned to be more kind to others because I'm making his job more difficult I'll be aware next time and now I'm gonna jump into my shower and have my breakfast so just to encourage you guys and give you examples uh, for how to stop using single-use plastic never ever use single-use straws you can buy these glass ones that you can reuse simply on eBay um, and they're so inexpensive they're under a dollar and you can choose from really nice colors so yeah always um, get glass straws then for removing your makeup I usually tend to remove my makeup with like little uh, face towels. I just wet them and uh, take my makeup off. But you can actually order 10 of these bamboo reusable makeup remover pads so you wouldn't have to buy these cotton pads. And yeah, it's just like you can say $2 uh, per pack of 10 of these reusable pads. You just chuck them in the washing machine and wash them and reuse them. Um, or like myself you can use muslin cloths or little face towels and then these are really nice grocery um, kind of net bags for shopping again like two dollars and then these are the ones that i talked about um like for vegetables and stuff but i think you can definitely make these yourself they're super easy to make i'm actually gonna ask my grandmother to make them because she enjoys sewing so i'll ask for a couple of these hey guys good morning i figured i haven't even said hi in this vlog the reason i'm doing a vlog by the way it's sunday today is because i wanted to show you guys me getting ready um because i'm going to my aunt's birthday today so i'm gonna film when i'm doing my skincare putting my face on oh by the way and this is my new depotted string of hearts this is where it's gonna live looks super cute i think so anyway breakfast wise i don't even know what i'm gonna have this morning probably the usual i like to have this coffee on weekends because it kind of feels like a treat it's um an espresso variations Paris and it's the um, hazelnut one and it just smells so lovely when you're making your coffee it just smells like hazelnuts um, always from my favorite mug I'm gonna froth my milk and I don't know I'll probably have eggs this morning like always maybe some salmon avocado this is really difficult <laughs> um, so yeah we'll see 
By the way, if you can hear that in the background, it's my washing machine. I know you guys tend to like these morning food making shots. That's a lot of froth. So this is sort of what I'm gonna be using um, today to make my breakfast. And if any of you guys live on your own, I don't know if you have this problem, but I feel like a lot of my food gets spoiled before I even have the chance to eat it. And it's so difficult to plan, um, you know, like buying groceries or making food for one person. I don't know, it's just really difficult. And I feel like I have to, throw a lot of food which is such a waste i think i'm gonna do scrambled eggs and i want to use my champignons Adding some milk to <clears throat> make my scrambled egg. A little bit of salt, some pepper. These are some spring onions from our garden, so I usually pop them in and I'll scramble. Then I'm just gonna pop in the mushrooms. You know what? I think I'm gonna pop in a tiny bit of Moroccan. I think this is five spice or all spice. Just a little bit for flavor. Turned off the heat. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. that is what I'm having for breakfast today. Right bread, avocado, cherry tomatoes, salt, pepper, lemon, um, what else, what else, balsamic, and then scrambled egg with champignons, spring onions, uh, some salmon, and my coffee. So guys, I had my breakfast, still haven't finished my coffee, drying my hair, and now I'm gonna show you how I style it because in my previous vlog um, someone asked me how I style my hair when it's like straight but goes in at the ends the straightener and this is so so simple I can't believe I'm doing a tutorial on it but you ask I deliver so let's do this I'm just gonna show you super quickly um, so when I paddle dry my hair it's pretty straight well somewhat straight um, and the straightener that I use, I had this for like 10 years. I think I was still in high school when I got it. Um, and it's from Corollis. I believe it's an Italian brand. And I love it. It's fantastic. It has these mirror like uh, plates, like super shiny. Can you see? And yeah, it's just such a good straightener, very high quality. It has this insanely long cord because it's for professionals so it's always like tangled in this jumble i hate the look of it but it does the job so well 
So basically what I do, I take the front bits, brush them out, and just, you know, like you would normally use a straightener, just simply do a little flick at the end like that. So I take the shorter front bit and again do a little invert flick. So I had to take that call. My mom asked me if I'm getting ready. It's just that simple. You just twist the curler slightly and your hair goes inward like that. There's absolutely no magic to it and it's like the easiest hairstyle and I'm using my uh, viewfinder <laughs> as a mirror. By the way, uh, talking about mirrors, thank you guys so so much for your input. Like 95% of you actually voted for the oval mirror. My mirror dilemma is not over because there's another one that I like. Actually, it was my first uh, initial option when I found out that Zara Home has mirrors but for some reason they had it in gold but not anymore. But I really liked the shape of that mirror. I showed it to my mom, I said, what do you think about it? She said, you know what, I actually really like it. You can simply spray it in gold like I did with my bathroom heater here. I sprayed it in gold. So I said, you're so right. That's an option for me to just get that silver one and spray it in gold. So when I'm done with my hair, I'm gonna show you guys the mirror I'm talking about and let you decide for the very last time. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's my hair. The result with a straightener, super quick, super simple. I just brush my hair out and apply my rose oil from Schwarzkopf just to make it nice and shiny. Kind of looks like I had a blow dry, right? You can do a side parting if you like. Um, so that's it. And now I'm gonna answer the most burning hair related question. <laughs> this is the question that I get asked the most on my social media, like Instagram, YouTube. That is what hair dye do I use? So my hair needs dyeing at the moment really badly like my roots i mean you can see they have outgrown so that's my natural hair color but i'm gonna get my roots touched up tomorrow because i have a photo shoot on wednesday and i kind of want to have freshly dyed hair for the shoot which will take place in palanga and i think i'm gonna vlog it so yeah this is the hair dye that i use and hopefully this will answer your question guys so in the past i used to use garnier nutris in 10.1 that was my favorite color ever but i talked about it so many times i feel like i'm repeating myself for like a fifth time but yeah they don't sell this hair dye here anymore so i used to order on boots international website but they don't have Boots International anymore um, and before they closed down I ordered a massive box full of hair dye so use that all up and this is my alternative that my mom and I now use it's also 10.1 uh, Ashy Very Light Blonde Garnier Oleum I cannot say I love it, I still prefer the old color uh, Garnier Nutri so if you can get your hands on that dye because I know it's sold in other countries like when I went to Scotland I got a few boxes because they had it there but this is what I'm currently using and yeah as I said I don't know I'm not too fond of it so my friend Aux actually recommended her hair dye to me so I'm gonna order that on eBay um, and yeah I'm gonna try out her color because she has a very very good um, very light ashy blonde that's not brassy at all like I love the color of her hair hi Alex if you're watching <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna try her dye but for now I'm using Olea I've been using it for I don't know half a year a year ever since I used up my last Nutris boxes so that's it that's my hair done now I'm gonna 
do my skincare and apply my makeup. So yeah, as I said, I'm going um, on a shoot on Wednesday and then on Saturday I'm actually going to Riga to a fashion show and I'm taking my mom with me so it's gonna be a nice girly um, city escape let's say because we'll definitely stay in Riga maybe go there earlier visit the city because Riga is such a beautiful city I love it for my eyes I use Kiehl's avocado eye treatment so a couple of days ago I actually did insta live showing you my night skincare routine and I thought today I'm gonna show you my morning skincare routine so usually in the mornings I wash my face with just cold water I don't use any cleansers or anything and for daytime I usually use Origins of Perfect World Moisturizer with SPF 40 um, really like this stuff I showed you in the live that day I purchased two new moisturizers so I purchased a Derma this is Derma Libor um, moisturizer but it's only good for nighttime it's very gloopy thick and sticky like super super rich moisturizer so I wouldn't really use this for daytime if I only want a glowy face I will use this Kiko Hydra Pro Glow which is a super illuminating cream I think I'm gonna use that today as well because I love it and this is a new one that I got but I had it in the past it's a repurchase because I love this product it's also by Derma Hydrabia but it's gel cream it's light moisturizing care for normal to sensitive skin my skin is dehydrated, sensitive and acne prone so I'm not the best combination this is just such a nice lightweight uh, as it says gel cream so it feels very moisturizing but not heavy at all and on top of that I'm going to use the Kiko illuminating moisturizer can you guys see it instantly makes your skin so radiant so if you have very dull complexion definitely check it out it's almost like a primer for me before I apply makeup so yeah but neither of those have SPF in them that's why I actually like to use this Origins one but I'm gonna be inside today celebrating so yeah so that's it that's my morning skincare if my face is puffy I will use my rose quartz um, face massager because it's really nice and cooling to wake my skin up on my lips I already have my Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask the foundation I'm currently using is L'Oreal True Match in ivory number one because I am super pale at the minute as you can see because I took a bath and scrubbed all of my fake tan off I'm gonna apply a fresh layer before my photo shoot but for now I'm gonna be my pale self <laughs> I know most of you guys prefer when I'm pale but to be honest I feel better when I have some color on my skin I just feel healthier and yeah not as ghostly when you have a little bit of a tan your skin is like naturally more radiant more glowy and you don't need as much makeup i feel like i can go makeup less when you are as pale as i am right now every little bit of redness or like a little marks show on your skin i really like this foundation because it doesn't feel heavy on your skin but it has this sort of satin matte texture i wish it was a little bit more glowy like, it looks nice, it looks like your skin, but I like my foundations to be slightly more radiant. For concealer, I'm still using my Nylens Yord uh, Danish concealer. Thankfully my skin is in a pretty good condition like fingers crossed, but you never know my skin reacts to everything so I can wake up with massive spots for bronzer. I use NARS multiple stick in Vientiane and I take it on the sponge and apply it where the Sun would naturally hit me around my hairline and my temples 
Okay, done with my bronzer. Okay, now it's time to add some highlighter. And I love to use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Gold Pop. So what I do, I just do one squirt on my hand like that. And then take my sponge and then I'm gonna apply it everywhere basically. Now with like my cheekbones, under my brow, love this highlighter it just makes you so glowy but i just think highlighter in general is my favorite product probably everyone's favorite makeup product right <laughs> uh, my cora organics rose quartz highlighter why am i rambling about makeup now i don't even know but i'm in the mood to talk about makeup i guess my uh, pure cosmetics this is sankyo's glow palette which I believe it was limited edition and they don't make it anymore unfortunately I use up all of the bronzer these shades are incredible so I just use them with my finger like so and then um, sort of rub it in my face and then my Dior nude highlighter for when I want that more intense incredible glow and then RMS living luminizer which is fantastic organic coconut based um, highlighter so I'm just gonna use it in my inner corners okay I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I want to thank my subscriber who reminded me in the previous vlog of this eyeshadow duo that I used to love it used to be one of my favorites and probably still is I just don't use it kind of forgot about it it's NARS all about Eve and I hate NARS packaging because it just gets grubby and sticky and gross so I need to... Ugh, it's disgusting and it's a completely new duo so I need to uh, sort of depot these eyeshadows because yeah this packaging is nasty so yeah oh my god I love these so much and the girl mentioned that she bought this duo because of me so I really miss it it's just such a simple little duo, but so perfect for every day. They're barely there, sort of neutral colors. If you want to go for that no makeup makeup look, I'm taking the other color and just putting that in the outer corner. This one is a little bit more glowy. I'm gonna take my Dior nude bronzer which is just a nice matte bronzer and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line and a little bit in my crease that's it for my eyeshadow for my brows I'm gonna use um, Dior eyebrow gel what is it called brow shaper bold brow because I actually used up my favorite Maybelline brow shaper I'm gonna add a little bit of blusher this is my Bobbi Brown uh, cream blusher in powder pink yes um, and I actually really want to get the peach one that I have I'm gonna love it especially for spring and summer because I'm all about those warm tones this one is super nice it just is like a very natural um, sort of color it just blends with your skin and becomes like part of your skin let's have a little sip of coffee I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara now. MAC Upward Lash, of course. I don't really tend to use powder, but I will use a little bit of it where I need to set my makeup. So this is Dior Forever uh, Powder Foundation. So I like to apply a little bit of it under my eyes, around my nose where I applied my concealer. Uh, the rest of the face I don't really powder because I like that glow final step my lips I'm gonna apply Rimmel lip liner in tiramisu 
I love this lip liner so much. Very 90s color. Blur the edges because I don't like sharp lip liner. And yeah, I feel like with this one you can really overdraw your lips and to make them look very pouty, very 90s. And yeah, it's just a great lip liner. I've had it for years. I don't know if they still make it. I think they might have repackaged their lip liners. This is what it looks like. I have 20 minutes before my parents come over to pick me up to go to my aunt's and I actually have some new gym wear that I kind of want to show you guys, so maybe I'll show you that. And I need to decide what to wear because I have no idea. I kind of want to go in my PJs. These are so cute and they have my initials somewhere here. It's that comfy, baby. Are you comfy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to eat you. I want to eat you. change of location I'm in my bedroom now I uh, want to mention something really quickly as I'm gonna be choosing which watch to wear these are my Daniel Wellington watches and at the moment I'm actually in love with this one um, I mean the strap I believe this one is called York which is like a dark chocolate brown with a croc effect. Love, love, love it. I'm gonna wear this one today. And I feel like the strap of this one is a little bit thinner. It just feels really comfortable. Like these ones uh, take some wearing in. Like you need to wear it for a little while for it to kind of mold to the shape of your uh, wrist. Whereas this one is like very, um, I don't know, kind of flexible and thin. Um, and at the moment, Daniel Wellington actually offer a super cool thing where if you buy any watch, you can choose an extra free strap and it will come in this cute little box. So the one that I chose is Durham, which is like, a, I believe this is their lightest brown color. So this one is St. Mauve's for reference. And this is Durham. Um, this one is just a little bit less shiny and it's more worn in. Like if you look at it, it already looks like an old watch strap. So if you like that worn in sort of look, you will really like it. And yeah, they're genuine leather straps. So yeah, I think this is a super cool offer as you can buy any watch and choose an extra strap. This way you can change up your straps. You can have a black and brown one or a white and black one. Oh, another thing, if you use my coupon code Chanelette times Daniel Wellington, you will get 15% off your purchase, which is ching, super good, right? Uh, and it's valid until the 10th of April. So take advantage of that. And now I'm gonna show you the mirror. This is the oval mirror you guys voted for. But look at this one. Look at the shape of it. This is the silver one I told you about. My mom really likes these sort of cutouts because, you know, I have these round lights that will look really nice. So what do you think? Should I get this one and spray it in gold or the oval one? Let's vote again because now everyone is saying oval. So now between the oval or this one and it's gonna be a final decision. So before I change out of my PJs, I told you I'll show you some new sportswear. So I showed you that khaki colored set uh, before, which I really love. Um, and this is another one that I really like. It's so beautiful. It's by the brand called Stronger and it's a Swedish brand. And they come in these really nice pouches that you can uh, use for traveling, like to organize stuff in your luggage, like socks, underwear, and whatnot. They're really nice material, actually. They're very high-waisted. And I chose this sort of nude color, uh, which is definitely right up my street. You guys know this is like my color, right? Beige. <laughs> Everything's beige or white. And yeah, it just looks really nice. Let me model it for you guys. That's... The workout set, as I said, I just really like it. They have it in gray color as well, like this exact same one, if you're not into this uh, nude color. 
and um, they also have lots of different uh, styles and patterns so check out the brand I'm gonna link it down below but yeah this is gonna be my new workout gear and I'm very excited to work out in it tomorrow that's the bum as you can see it's very high-waisted which I personally love I'm back home now this is what I wore just an old mango minty color silky top and these Bershka kind of cargo style trousers I had really good time just eating singing talking laughing for five hours <laughs> So now I'm gonna jump back into my PJs. Okay, I'm back in my PJs and now we can talk. And I wanna talk to you guys about something that I've been meaning to tell you about, but I couldn't because I wanted to wait to give it a proper test. And that is my new mattress. It's not new anymore. I've had it for over a month now. Um, been sleeping on it. I've actually filmed myself unboxing the mattress when it arrived, so I'm gonna insert the footage now. Guys, something has arrived, and by something, I mean my mattress. It's finally here, I will not have to sleep on a blow-up bed anymore. So, let's do unboxing. So, I asked Napsy if I could actually have my mattress on the floor before I buy a bed. They said yes, no problem. It's actually um, some people just keep it on the floor and not get um, bed at all. Um, they said that this mattress is perfect for working in bed as well because it has very good support on your back. Napsy kindly gifted it to me. So thank you so, so much to the brand. And yeah, I will let you guys know if I think it's worth it. So here it is, Napsy, the perfect mattress for better sleep. Let's open it. It's packed so compactly. That's amazing. Okay, so. Here we go, that's the mattress. The pattern looks like, um, what is it? Fidget spinner? <laughs> so now I have to let it rest here on the floor for a little while so that it can poof up and regain its shape. Let's do a jump test. Ah! Oh my God, it's so good. It's so nice to have a mattress, finally. It's obviously still squished, so here it feels thicker and here thinner. Um, but yeah, it is not too soft and not too hard. Like, I don't like when, it, um, when mattresses are very hard, but I feel like this will be very good for my back. And you can definitely feel that memory foam on the inside. So now I only need a bed, right? Um, got my mattress thank you so much napsy once again and i'll let you guys know how well i slept on it okay i'm off honestly i just want to sleep now A lot of you guys were concerned by the fact that I keep my mattress on the floor, that I don't have a bed. And yes, I don't have a bed yet because I've looked in like all the furniture shops we have here and nothing sparks joy in me. Uh, so I don't like any bed option. And um, I've decided that I'll have my bed custom made because I love my aunt's bed and I'm gonna probably have it made by the same people that she had it made. and. Yeah, her bed is 
amazing. So I really want something like that with like um, bed linen storage underneath. And it's just like really beautiful, this like linen um, textile. But that's in, in the future. I'm not getting a bed just yet. So yeah, uh, for the moment, I keep my mattress on the floor. A lot of you guys told me not to keep mattress on the floor because it would get moldy and stuff. And that is not true. Maybe that's the case with other mattresses. I don't know, but not with Napsy. I've talked to the uh, people from the brand and they said, no, that's completely fine. Our mattresses are actually made to be um, kept on the floor if you like the look. That's why they use this sort of um, jean material here to make it look nice for the people who want to uh, have it on the floor so that it looks almost like bed sort of texture um, and you can see a zipper here so you can remove it and wash it in the washing machine so it's washable cover so yeah they said no we saw how you keep your mattress on the floor and that's totally fine no worries another specific another special thing about this mattress is, is that it's not too soft but it's not too hard like it's it's quite firm. Me, personally, I like a very soft, almost cloud-like mattress. So this is pretty hard for me. When I first slept on it, I was like, okay, this is, yeah, this is not what I'm used to sleeping on. I'm aware that health-wise, it's better for your back to sleep on harder mattresses. And also, um, they're made so that no part of your body goes numb like you don't sink in it and also if you sleep with a partner and if you move your partner will not feel any of the movement on this mattress but i think the best thing about this mattress is the fact that you have 101 day trial if you don't like it you can return it and they will basically give your money back so that's super cool i mean if you find out that it's not for you at all you can just return it and look for other mattresses it's also hypoallergenic and it's breathable and super easy to wash i mean the cover of the mattress another cool thing about it is that their mattresses are quite affordable because mattresses can be super expensive and their prices are quite affordable and right now they have 30 percent off so my mattress is one meter 60 on two meters uh, but they have lots of different sizes and if you want a little extra discount you can use my coupon code chanelette33 and you'll get 33 percent off your mattress and as i said you can buy it if you don't like it you can return it so yeah i wanted to share that with you and i want to thank napsy for the mattress i am so dead you guys just finished editing this vlog that you're currently watching um, It's 3 a.m. So I've been editing it for four hours I feel like I'm gonna collapse. So I'm just taking my makeup off and I'm gonna go to bed um, Hope you had a really nice weekend guys and have a productive week ahead of you. I will see you in my next video, which will probably be vlog because as I said, I'm going on a shoot on Wednesday, so. Okay, have a good night, guys. Bye.